were never born to read. You were born to speak and smell and see and think, but you were never born to read. You see, what we build is a circuit. This information comes, crosses over, and we build an enormous circuitry. And Jane talked about how reading expands us, it stretches us. Oh, one of the most incredibly activated brains is the brain that is either playing a piano concerto or reading a very difficult poem. So much of what we do is this act of an ever-enlarged circuitry. We are at a crossroads. We have an extraordinary expert reading brain, and it is changing. What does it mean to children? What is going on with their attention? What is going on with their ability to focus and concentrate? The role of time in the reading brain is a matter of learning to expend one to two hundred milliseconds to thought. Are we really learning how to do that? Reading changes and transforms us if we've learned how to have that happen. It's our inference. It's our ability to make analogies. It's our ability to connect thoughts across time and distance. It's our ability to have insights. You just go somewhere outside yourself. And that, for me, is an underpinning of what a society should do because it gives us a chance to be wise. And wisdom is the basis of 